Before this next video begins, I have to let you know that this video is sponsored once again by Red Magic. <sighs> hey, you got games on your phone? What? Oh. It looks like our little spy doesn't have a good enough phone to distract all these children with. If only there was a fast and powerful enough phone that could run all the super demanding games that children love to play nowadays. Introducing the Red Magic 6! If the 5S was so good, then what makes this one even better? The Red Magic 6 boasts an industry first 165Hz 6.8 inch FHD plus AMOLED display. That's a mouthful. This lets you play all of the games and watch your favorite videos at the silkiest, smoothest resolution. Video games are a fairly intensive hobby. The latest games could break any old phone, not this one. A Snapdragon 888 processor ensures that you'll be able to work and game at a super high resolution and frame rates without worrying about your phone lagging behind. And for those of you who are worried that you could game too much that your phone explodes, not to worry either. The Red Magic 6 has a combination of seven cooling technologies to lower down CPU core temperatures by 16 degrees Celsius. And it does so silently and efficiently so you can game in peace without waking up the neighbors when you try and run. I'm and yes, it has a headphone jack, as well as built-in 5G, all at a price that has to be seen to be believed. So what are you waiting for? Go and get yourself a Red Magic 6 right this instant. The link is in the description. Now back to your regularly scheduled feature presentation. Good evening everyone. How's everyone doing on this fine fine Friday night? You guys hydrating? You guys eating good? Are you guys good? Great. Other synonyms for all that kind of stuff. You know, yada, 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 the usual. You guys are probably wondering what we're doing today. In fact, you know what? You guys aren't actually wondering because I think I made it very, very obvious from the get go what exactly we're getting up to today. And what we are doing today is located once again in the middle of the screen. Yeah, that's right. In the middle of the screen. And there's a DVD logo. That's just going across the screen. <laughs> the spooky folder, which is now unnamed because uh, the contents of the folder are way too scary for me to even describe. So I decided to remove the name of the folder. I guess let's just open it. I'm just going to bring my mouse in very slowly. All right, we're opening it. And it stopped. <laughs> I've got a selection of four scary games, each from varying degrees of quality. And um, I guess without further... E. Yeah, the <laughs> we're gonna go and do our very first game, which is called Sponge Massacre. I love how there's just like a really, really uh, thread, like a threatening SpongeBob on the bottom right. Remember that? Remember that? Uh, spon that Squidward jump scare in that episode of SpongeBob. In fact, editor, put that scene on the screen right now. Do it. <laughs> That scene got banned in the UK. I guess we should just begin. SpongeBob hasn't gone to work in a very, very long time. He's been acting suspicious. Bikini Bottom Police got a call from Mr. Krabs. He reported strange noise coming from his home. The next day, Patrick, Squidward, and Sandy were reported missing. Bikini Bottom Police decided to raid SpongeBob's house. You play as one of the police officers of the Bikini Bottom Police. All right. Oh my God. Oh my God, we're strapped. Why is it? <laughs> Why is it got an AK? Why are they all armed with AKs? All right, in we go. All right, we're in. Objective, find seven Krabby Patties to open the secret door in the kitchen. I guess that's, wait, why, why do we need to do that? This is definitely some high quality television. All right. Wow, that's. Now that is a very threatening hallway. I wonder if there's going to be some sort of a jump scare if I walk down the hallway. Wait, hello, wait, what's that? Hey, that's what? Hey, 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 stop, stop, stop. Don't, don't get any closer, don't get any closer. <laughs> oh, Scott. <laughs> Okay, okay, I don't remember this happening in SpongeBob. Preparing the Krabby Patty. Do we have to like track the Krabby Patties down by doing the song to prepare it? Just like. His square pants are on the floor. But there's a Krabby Patty right here. There we go. It works. It works. Gary, are you okay? What's it? <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna have to go through. That toilet. That is floating. Wait. Hello? Patrick, but why is it blurry 
And why is Patrick just staying there? Patrick, blink twice if you need help. He doesn't have, he, he doesn't have any pupils. Patrick, do not move. I will be there to get you, surely. Pro gamer hint, turn on your flashlight with the F key. But my flashlight's already on. Wait. Wait, what? Wait, what? No! How did Patrick just die in the time it's taken for me to get here? Who? Why is it just like a singular blood PNGs on the floor? Anything else here? Oh wait, there's loads of Krabby Patties here. Why are they all weirdly open? What was SpongeBob looking for? His cap is here. He's been slacking. Put your hands up where I can see them when I see you. All right? All right, let's see if we can just do anything here. Can we jump? Oh, we can't jump, but we can push these around. Come on, get, get me the, wait. All right, that worked. Physics, physics. All right, uh, hello. Fair enough. Wait. Oh no. Oh no. No. Oh dear. Wait, hang on. Why? How did Barnacle Boy die? Wait. He's got. Barnacle Boy has got no wounds on his body, yet there's a pool of blood on the floor. I think he's faking it. Let's just make sure. Hmm. I feel like that one is bait. I'm not gonna go there. I'm gonna go in this direction. Maybe if we continue going down, there'll be something interesting. There's only one way to fa- She slipped. Let's call it time. Hey. Oh my God, why is he shouting? Why is he shouting? <laughs> hey, hey, turn around. Turn around, put your hands where I can see them. Now you better turn around and face me like a man. <laughs> Is there anything around here? Oh, a Krabby Patty. Oh, two of them. We we're meant to collect seven, right? Oh, hell no, man. They don't turn Spingle Bop into Slanderman and Thaf Cry Thaf Cry. <laughs> oh my God, he's still making noise. I'll put you out of your misery. I'll put it out. Stop shouting. Stop shouting. Maybe this is a meta commentary on the state of creepypastas in current year. Oh, hello. That wasn't there before. Don't try to leave. You're not the boss of me. Oh, I just don't understand why is this place is so unnecessarily big. I'm just going to I'm just going to go down that corridor. We might as well see. It could it could end in disaster though. Oh, hello. What was that noise? What was that no No! I mean, Koba but no! It's even <laughs> Fair enough. Can we can we pick can we pick it up? Let's break down this place with some with some telekinesis. Now now what? Where do we go? Oh, hello. What's this? Hello? Oh! Oh my god! Are they actually going to do it? There's no way. Hey, you! He's got the shotgun and everything. Oh my God. Oh, the cutscene. Mr. Squarepants, I'm afraid you're under arrest. You're under arrest. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Oh no. Bruh. Ending two of two, SpongeBob suicide. You left SpongeBob's house confused and scared. SpongeBob got what he deserved. He killed nine people in four days. Never thought this would happen. I guess the demons got to him. SpongeBob's, Patrick's and Squidward's houses were abandoned. Bikini Bottom is traumatized. Well, I guess there, there is another ending, but I'm 99% sure the other ending is just a jump scare or something. So there's no point in doing that ending. But uh, I guess that was Sponge Massacre. What would we rate that one out of 10? It was fairly tense, but I think I'm going to rate Sponge Massacre a six out of 10, AKA Creepypasta out of 10, AKA, random jump scare out of hey, hey guys i'm black oh sn games presents sn games a totally legit video game company 2021 the light keeper i don't know about you guys but this right here is definitely a video game menu 
let's just begin. I needed to get out of town for a while, so I decided to take up a job offer as a lightkeeper, which I didn't even know that was a job anymore. I was hoping that I could be alone, but apparently it was mandatory that I had a partner. I guess they can't leave a newcomer to the field all alone in the middle of the ocean. It's going to be a long month. I just hope all goes well. Maybe it's another SpongeBob game. Maybe the twist is that this is like a sequel to Sponge Massacre. Well, uh, I guess just the boat. Oh my God, this game is pixelated. This is so pixelated, the pixels are pixels. Oh my God. It's our first day on the job as a pirate, I mean a light keeper. This place is very 2D. This has all the markings of a PS6 game. Yeah, that's right. This is a PS6 game. I should go turn off that foghorn. This is this is the hidden sequel to I'm Scared. All right, let's let's do let's left click to go inside. Hold space until the wheel stops. Wow, working as a light keeper really is boring. Oh, there we go. Now we can begin our voyage as a light keeper in our very special little place. You can really feel just how pixelated this is. Like imagine you wake up and everything you see is pixels. Imagine the absolute horror on your face as you look at your arms and everything is pixelated. You're just like, ah, ah, ah. To be fair, the right way to play this game, in fact, the right way to watch this video is if the moment this game started, you switched your quality to 144p. In fact, if you're watching this video on the second channel right now, switch your, col switch your quality to 144p. Yeah. Hello? Uh, to tell you that your partner will not be showing up. Oh, wait, what? Uh, due to uh, the, the weather. <laughs> I guess our partner's not going to be here. Apparently, he's he just, he just bunked off. All right, here we go. Let's get some sleep. That was the quickest sleep I've ever had ever. In fact, if we're going to, if we're going to make this authentic, if we're, if we're going to make this a truly authentic experience, All right, well, this is the way we're going to have to play the game now. The partner must be free, I must go back. Let's go downstairs. That foghorn really, really needs fixing. Uh, oh, it's locked? It's locked? Oh, no. All right, <clears throat> let's radio in. <clears throat> should I escape or investigate? Should I be smart or should I be really, really smart? All right, I'm just gonna escape. I'm gonna escape. Left click to escape. Get back to your boat. Oh, get back to your boat. Why are we running faster? Oh no, oh no, I, I, I think we need to run. Too late, you shift run before it's too late. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that was close. Well, I guess, I guess we're escaped. What just happened? What just <laughs> Our, our radio's there. We just crashed into a wall of water. Oh, and we're back to the menu. I'm going to try and do the other ending and see if it's anything else. Maybe that was a wrong end. All right. Ahem. Transition. Maybe we're just going to get jump scared by Freddy Fazbear. Should I escape or investigate? You know what? Let's investigate like a smart horror protagonist. All right, let's go. Wait, how, how did we get here? Well, there's only one way to go, and that's forward. All right, let's go. Surely nothing bad will happen as soon as I... Hey, look, it's sad! Okay, surely nothing bad is going to happen when I continue walking down here. <sighs> surely nothing bad is going to happen. You're never alone on this rock. Oh no, is someone someone going to arrive? I can't, I can't do anything. We just got slapped. Well, we're dead. Well, I guess we got, we got murdered. Are we just gonna die to a slap like that? That was a bitch slap. That wasn't even a, that wasn't even anything. We literally just got, that like, you could, you could literally hear the noise. That was the light keeper. What would we rate the light keeper out of 10? I think I'm going to rate this. This one's fairly short. So I'm going to rate this one a solid five out of 10, also known as slap out of 10, also known as foghorn out of 10, also known as, I'm scared out of 10. On to our next game, Made With Unity. That's when you know it's going to be a, oh my God. Oh, the graphics in are this right here. Now this looks like a 10 out of 10 game. I see, I see this right here. This is scary. Look at the graphics in this. The graphics are gonna be absolutely amazing. I've switched on RTX. We're expecting nothing but the best. Hello? Oh my God. 
Wait, what's going on? All right, here we go. I can't hear. I have no idea what they just said. Edit. Did it just go dark for no <laughs> The radio lines are straight ripped from Need for Speed Most Wanted. No way. A street racer has just been reported eastbound. Look how messy we left our bed. Ew! All right, let me look back. Let me look down. Oh, I can't move here. I can't move here to get my walkie-talkie. Let me, let me, wait, we could, wait, what? Wait, I'm gonna try jumping. This is definitely the sequel to Evil that we all wanted. All right, I guess I'm just gonna have to go here on our Mac. And our window. We just got a bedroom key. I was. Oh my god, that transition! Wait, 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 wait. Editor, enhance. What does that say on the bottom? This is a MacBook with windows on it. Wait, can we turn? Can we turn off the light? Can't even do anything. Let's go into this. Oh my god! Oh my god! These textures. Oh my god! Oh my god! Help! Is this all just one room? What's this? The lighting is broken. Oh my god! Oh my god! The textures on the floor. What's going on here? What happened? Wait. This is exactly the same. <laughs> Look at that water. RTX. Yeah. Yeah. Why do we have a washing machine right next to our toy? And why are we using duct tape? All right, well, I guess that's enough screw to that. That's not, wait, hang on. Let me see, let me see if it's watching something funny. All right. Oh my God. <laughs> Family is a little world made of love. Why is this here? Like, what was the time limit of this Game Jam game? Is there anything here? What? I just got a basement key. This is, this is, okay, this, this. <laughs> Our light just busted. But we can clearly see the light over here. All right, well, at least something spooky happened. Let's just go down to the basement and see what the big deal is. Is there anything good here? Anything? Hello? All right, I'm just gonna moonwalk. Let's moonwalk and see if anything bad happens. What the f- Oh my God, it's Slender. That looks like the Slender Man. That's just the Slender Man model. Why have we got all of these tools just here with no light whatsoever? Let's go back up and confront this Oh my God, it is cardboard. I can't be the only one that's, it's JPEG man. It's, it's JPEG man. Hang on, hang on. Uh oh, that, that, that was definitely a pee pee poo poo moment. All right, let's go. <laughs> oh. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, we might be onto something here. Now this definitely looks ripe for a jump scare. So I'm gonna see what happens if I moon, I'm gonna moonwalk. All right, it's time, it's time to moonwalk. Is there anything gonna happen? Or did I break it? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what's going on? I guess I gotta keep going. Wait, what? Where did I just go? Where am I? I guess we're just back home. I guess we're back home. Uh, Let's just go back. Let's just go back to our, uh, our desk. This game is absolutely amazing. We got the bedroom key again. All right, let's go to the bedroom. Wait, which one was the bedroom? It was this one, wasn't it? It was this one. The lights are all off. Oh. It's just pitch black. All right, fair enough then. All right, let's just go. Confront the jump scare. Oh. <laughs> the end. Thank you for playing this game. Hope you enjoyed this game. Don't forget to recommend this game to your friends. <laughs> That was someone. What do we rate that one out of 10? All right, I think I'm, this one was pretty, but I think I'm gonna rate this one a one out of 10, also known as how out of 10. On to our final game, the hospital. Oh, well, this one looks slightly better. New game. Oh, best experience with headphones. You guys wearing your headphones? Well, 
We're waking up! When the virus got me, I was hoping I would be among the majority who get only mild symptoms and recovered quickly. But my condition grew worse day by day. I checked into this hospital last week, barely able to breathe. I paid a lot to get a private room, and I was lucky they managed to find one. There are no vacant rooms in hospitals across the country as the pandemic wreaks havoc. It's a COVID game. It's a pandemonium out there. So many sick, so many dying. I feel like I've become a number, a statistic. I I think I'm growing sicker. I feel faint and weak all the time. Yesterday at night, they had to increase my oxygen intake. I heard them talking about having to put me under to intubate me if my condition deteriorated further. What if I don't make it? It will be a horrible way to go, dying alone in this room. I was never a believer in God or in heaven or in any of those fairy tales. Hmm, I wonder what happens to a person after they die. I've never really stopped to think about it until now. I guess I was too busy living life and chasing shadows to think about death. It's hospital feet looking simulator. Like, we've got no other camera angles. We're just staring. Who even stares like this? I'd be looking to the side or at the ceiling. I'm feeling so weak, so weak. I think I'll sleep now, can barely breathe. Stop having deep thoughts while looking at your feet. Oh my God. Well, we're gonna go to sleep. Oh, oh, we're out of bed. I'm, I'm up? How am I up on my feet? Oh no, I can't remember getting out of bed. And suddenly we don't have feet. Wow, what a disappointment. My bed, it looks as if it was recently made. When did I get off it? Who came in and made it? I don't remember any of this. The rest of the room looks neat too, as if this room was recently vacated. I spent days on this bed, struggling to breathe. Who cares? Stop monologuing. All the TV ever played was news about the pandemic, about the daily death toll and the crashing economy. I told the nurse to turn it off and take the remote away. Watching TV as I whiled away those endless hours struggling to breathe only made everything seem worse. Wow, we really are our editor. All right, let's just go here. Is anyone gonna be here? Door. Oh no. Someone just walked. That person out there, maybe a doctor. I need to find out how I'm up. Why are we asking how? Where is everybody? When I checked in here, these corridors were abuzz with activity all day and night, filled with nurses and doctors and patients. It's dead silent now, unnerving. When I checked in here, struggling to breathe. Why does this person have to always let us know that he's been struggling to breathe? There were two harried but kindly nurses sitting behind this desk, answering calls, filing papers, welcoming patients. They sure had their hands full. Didn't these doors open out to a lobby with elevators? That would have been my way out, except it looks like I can't leave this way. I should probably find another way out. <coughs> he's dying, but he uses his Understandable? Why do, I don't get it. Why do these games have to have audio every time we see something? Why is it just like, boom? If you think about it, you guys need to think about it. You put yourself, you, you put yourselves in the shoes of the protagonist of the game. If they turn around, are they actually going to hear a loud cymbal crashing in their ear when they turn around? They're just gonna look around and all they're just gonna see is just someone walking down and just gonna be like, Oh, well, fair enough. Well, this light is flickering and the doors are open. I wonder what's going to happen when I open these doors. Hello? Oh no, it's an endless corridor. All right, let's go to the flickering light and expect nothing more. Hello? Are these patient wards? Why are they deserted? There's got to be someone, a nurse or doctor who can help me and tell me what's going on. Is that a PT reference? Imagine just bursting through the doors, it's like, Hello, I'm dying. Can someone help me, please? All right. Well, this one's locked as well. I wonder if this one's locked too. What? All right, let's go. Hello? Ew! This room looks just like the one I was in, but it's a mess. Ew! What is that? How awful. There's some kind of stain. I guess the bed wasn't cleaned after the last patient departed. <laughs> that figure, that sound came from out there. Well, after investigating the poop stain, someone's just looking down, that, that he just looked through the screen just like, I saw something on that TV, a figure silhouetted against noise. Wow, it's as if we all saw that. Wah. It reminded me of, no, it can't be. I must be imagining things. Oh my God, this demon sucks. Maybe that's what this whole thing is. Some lucid dream I'm having while still lying in bed in some kind of coma. 
The plot thickens. It's a literal shutting ghost that we're worried about. Let me guess, his mum or lover or something or sister. Oh no. Hey, hey. Why is she constantly walking? Why is she constantly walking away from us? I don't get it. What is there to hide? She didn't even close the door properly. You didn't even close the door properly. Well, this door is open. I wonder if it's just going to shut us in. There's someone there. Wait, it's us. Let's go. Uh oh, the door just shut. It's locked. Who shut the door? The body in there. A corpse. If this is a dream, it's growing increasingly disturbing. Increasingly disturbing. We almost had a pee pee poo poo moment again. Is someone toying with me? Am I being led? That figure I saw. Oh no! It's scary! Wait, where is she walking from? This is a dream. A nightmare, rather, in which I'm trapped. How can it be her? Is this the Unity remake of Corpse Party Dead Patient? I bet I'm going to run. The loud noises are her stomping very, very loudly. Th that footsteps do not make that noise. Let's open the door. Anything in here? <laughs> what? How? How? How did I get here? I recognize this place, the furniture, and the way they're arranged. This looks like the apartment where we used to live, except everything looks abandoned and gone to rot. There's something on the table there. Damn, bitch, we live like this? We live, we live like this? Oh, hi. It can't be her. I can't see her face, but I know her anywhere. How is this possible? She's been dead for four years. <gasps> Nia, is that you? This isn't real, I'm dreaming. Wait, which one? Oh, we got dialogue. Nia, is that you? Hello? That familiar silence. This cannot be happening. This is some monstrous dream. Memories of those horrific events of four years ago are coming back. The doubt and the guilt that have haunted me since. Could I have saved her life had I done things differently? And at what cost? I couldn't have saved you, Nia. Only cold silence. What does she want? <laughs> Nia? Oh no, we've been debated. It's actually Coom Lady. Ah, am I going crazy? Or is this some fever dream seeded by my past while my body lies wasting away in a coma on a hospital bed? Why is the writing so edgy? Oh my God. Like I get the effort, but man, is the writing edgy. All right, let's see the photo. Nia. I remember this picture. We had taken it out by the beach just after yet another bitter fight. She was just 24, but by then she had already begun to show increasingly frightening signs of the mental illness that would later consume her. Erratic, violent shifts in temperament, brooding silences, fixed stares, an obsession with my whereabouts, self heart why, oh my God. This is like Reddit edgy. I can't take this seriously. I tried to get her to get help. She refused. When it was clear she was becoming a danger to both of us, I ended our relationship. And then it got worse, a lot worse. The phone calls, the stalking, the threats. And finally, I woke up one night to find her standing over my bed, staring at me, her dark eyes empty and unreadable, her mouth stretched in a chilling grin. And when I saw what she was holding in her hand, the door opened, and now I'm gonna have to go through the door. What is this place? We're gonna open the door. I'm gonna find Nia right through the door. Oh no, we're gonna go in through this door. I'm gonna gently open it. Oh no, I guess we're gonna have to gently open every single door here. There's a body there. Well, we're gonna go through this door and gently open it. Cool. So we played Among Us. It doesn't budge. Maybe if we go back and gently open this door. No, it's not gonna budge. We're we gonna go for it. <laughs> I didn't know Corpse is such a big fan of me. Like literally, I open, I opened the door, and oh, now it's okay. So now the door opens. It looks like a lot of corpses here. Oh my god, there's a lot of corpses here. This one also has blood in it. It's literally exactly the same. There are a lot of corpses here. I guess you can say it's a corpse party. We're just gonna go through here and hope that nothing bad happens. This one just moved. Oh no, it's another PT corridor. We're just gonna go through here once more. This game is very much dead playtime. We're gonna go through this corridor. Oh no. Oh no, that's not good. That's the ghost there. Well, that's the ghost there. On that night, 
Four years ago, when I woke up to find her standing over me, she was holding a knife. As I watched, she raised it and held it to her own throat. She said, I don't want to live without you. Before she could hurt herself, I leaped at her, grappled the blade away, and subdued her till the authorities arrived. They put her away in an institute, a mental hospital, and a week later, I got that terrible call. I gently opened the door. Sayori. Look at them nice wow. The door just shut. <laughs> the door just shut. What do you want from me, Nia? I did what I could. Why are you tormenting me? We're gonna go through this door and see what happens. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hey, look, it, it's Nia. What do you want from me? I think of that note you left. The last words you ever wrote. The lights are out. And now she's closer. You wrote, I'm never gonna let you go. I know those words were meant for me. Is that what this was about? That if I'd done things differently, perhaps more compassionate, you might still be alive. Oh, well, it's probably gonna be a jump scare in about one second. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we just were <laughs> Why did she run like that? I... I'm back in my room. How did I get here? Nia. The bed I was lying on. Fighting for my life. Am I well? Am I well? Or am I still trapped in this nightmare? Kroom lady won this feet pecs. No! Do I dare go out there? What will I find? A bustling hospital? Smiling faces telling me I'm better? And I can go home or shadowy halls haunted by my past. Am I in a coma, trapped in a body that's wasting away while I suffer a fever dream born of guilt? Or am I dead? And this is my afterlife. These dread halls and a tormented soul stalking me for all eternity. I guess we're gonna find out in the very next episode. The end. <laughs> well, that was it. We're in purgatory. Oh no, I heard that. That was the hospital. What would we rate that one out of 10? Okay, what would we rate that one out of 10? I need to stop doing that voice. I think I'm probably gonna rate this one a five out of 10, AKA Sayori out of 10, AKA corpse out of party, AKA feet out of 10 because the beginning of the video had exactly the same model and for some reason our neck was broken in order to stare at our feet like why why was that even a thing anyway i think that concludes the random horror game session for the day so chat we need a like goal i think i'm going to set the like goal at 4k so if we get 4,000 likes i will do more random horror games for those of you guys who are watching on the second channel all the links to the games will be in the description and they will be time stamped as well so that you guys can skip to a specific game all the links as well to my twitch and my discord server will be linked in the description as well Thank you guys so much for watching this video and the stream. And for those of you guys who are watching on the second channel, I'll see you guys in another video.